Hey everybody, it's Jess, and um, you'll have to excuse my hair. I haven't done anything with it yet. I just got out of the shower, but I wanted to go ahead and film this video um, right now for two reasons. Um, number one, it's already like very hot in my room right now. It's a very sunny, beautiful, gorgeous, warm day outside, but my window is south facing, which means the sun is just like <laughs> right in here. And so it's already really warm in here, and I didn't want to be sitting in a sauna to be filming this video. Um, but also, I got my second lip monthly bag last night. Uh, well, it didn't come last night. It, it got to me last night. It was in the mailbox at some point yesterday. Um, but yes, so I wanted to go ahead and open this. I have canceled my Ipsy. I'm just going to go ahead and say that, just because... I don't know, like, it was just like so hit and miss and a lot of times there was just, there was too many misses for me is what I'm going to say, okay? Um, I was just frustrated with it, not getting like a good variety of colors and things. Um, I still think it is a totally great way if you um, are kind of just getting into makeup and don't, don't really know um what you like or what's going to work for you it's still a great very inexpensive way to be able to try new products um so i'm not bashing ipsy at all in that sense i just think for me being like kind of as adventurous as i am with makeup and you know not being scared to try like really bold vibrant looks um it just personally it wasn't to my taste because i wasn't getting any of those like bold like kablam type products that I would really love to try out. So for me personally it just didn't work out and that's okay. Um, but we're here we go with our lip monthly. This is an orange bag with these really sassy cute um, cat eye sunglasses on it. it says summer right there. So that's cute. It's kind of a like a plasticky canvas. I don't know what that material is called. Um, let's see. Hoo, hoo, hoo. So excited. Um, so once again, it's like we have July 2016, and um, our list of products I saw right here. Retail value $74, and this is 10 bucks. So, I mean, hello. Um, okay, so, let's see what this is. This is a City Color City Chick Lipstick in the shade Je T'aime, which is French for I Am. Uh, how do I know that? Because I took French in high school. I remember almost none of it. Um, but that is one little phrase. I do remember. Okay. Uh, oh, get off of me, st staticky plastic. Um, ooh. Oh, look, it's got a cute little, I don't know if you're able to see this. Yes, um, this cute little stamp of their logo in the lipstick. I think that's really cute. And this looks like a really pretty, like, rosy kind of color. Let's just swatch it. Oh, it feels nice and creamy. A little bit glossy, which personally I like. You guys know this if you've been here more than five minutes you know that I love um, very creamy and or glossy products so that's exciting very very much looking forward to wearing this and this is valued at $4.99 so very cool the next thing we have is uh, Mirabella something Mirabella Color Vinyl Rouge à la Lèvres, which I believe means lipstick. Oh, very cute packaging. Like, it's like this and then like all chromey on the other side. Uh, this color is Cherry Shine Color Vinyl Lipstick. So let's just... <sighs> You know what, I want to go ahead and put this on because, not that it matches my purple shirt, but 
I do not know what happened to my favorite red lipstick. I've actually been looking for it and it's just gone. I, 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 I must have left it in a purse and I just like I guess I need to go through all of my purses and find out where it is. But let's just try this out. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? So it feels like kind of like a, it's not really glossy. I would say it's more of a, like a semi-gloss finish, like not quite a satin, but not glossy either. Hmm, it feels really good. No smell or taste to speak of, which... Um, which I know for a lot of people that's a big issue, especially if you are a very allergic type person. Sometimes the scents can really bother you. Um, it might be a, like slightly on the orange side for my skin tone, but I definitely want to try it again when I have my whole face on and see how it works then. <clears throat> um, but, you know, for a first go around with no other makeup on, I really like it. Um, let me see if this other lipstick had any sort of smell. Very, very slight smell. Um, I can't even, like, not even enough for me to be able to say, oh, it smells like whatever. I, I couldn't tell you what it smells like. Okay, so this Mirabella lipstick, oh, wow, valued at $26. That is awesome. I've never heard of this brand before, um, but that's great. Very much looking forward to trying this again. This is Cougar by Pauline Dunn, du Dunn or Dune. Perfect pout volume and shape definition. Um, do we have, let's see. Open. I wonder if this color is the actual shade of the product. Let me see. Huh. It just looks like a clear gloss. Is that is that is that what it is? Um Oh, it's a plumper. It's on the card here. It says it's a plumper. So, it's valued at um, 29 pounds, it says. So, I guess this is a British product, because everything else has dollar signs, and this one is the pound symbol. So, um, hey, let's just see what it feels like. Oh. Mmm. I don't know. Um, it feels extremely sticky. I did put it over lipstick so that could be part of it, but I don't think so. Like, no, even like on my hand, it feels extremely sticky. And a lot of like plumpers have like peppermint in them because that's what like stimulates the circulation to your lips and then they kind of, they plump up. But this has it kind of smells like Vicks Vapor Rub. I'm not even kidding. Like it's very, very medicinal and um it's very menthol-y. And menthol is like derived from peppermint, but it just has that very like like this might be good to rub on your lips if you have a cold to help like clear out your sinuses and help your breathing. But ooh, I can definitely not see myself using this on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm. I, don't, I don't know. I mean, it does feel kind of tingly like any other, like, plumping lip product does, but I would have vastly preferred that they just go with regular old peppermint oil instead of menthol. Or maybe it's eucalyptus. They smell kind of similar. Where's the box? Does it say? Paraffium liquidum. It doesn't. 
it's got all like the Latin names for the ingredients on there. So I'll have to look it up and find out if it's maybe eucalyptus or menthol or what it is. <clears throat> Either way, I don't like it. You know what? In fact, I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna just, ugh. Ugh. Did not enjoy. Ugh. So, maybe I should have just dolloped a little bit on my hand and then used a lip brush because then I still could have given it away to somebody, but instead I just went ahead and rubbed it on my dirty mouth. Um, the last thing we have is a Bella Pierre... Bella Pierre... Shimmer? Oh, cool. And I've had other Bella Pierre cosmetics that I've really liked in the past. And this looks like a gorgeous kind of, like, purpley, rosy, kind of, I'm not sure, kind of shade. Go ahead and try and get this evil little seal off. There we go. And, oh, it's stuck to me. What do you want, Boots? Oh, look at that. Really pretty. Let's just... <gasps> Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love purpley, pinky, shimmery. <coughs> Let's just dab a little more and see what we get there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yes. Oh, so pretty. Love it. This will definitely get used. And, um, so... Yeah, cool. Um, this is valued at $15. I don't know if I said that already. Um, so, yeah, $74 bag for $10. Bucks. Doesn't get much better than that, people. And um, they do say that each bag will have four or five products. And that's just going to depend on, um, you know, like the retail value and things like that. And they do say, you know, periodically they throw in something that's not actually a lip product. So, you're not, you're getting mostly lip products with Lip Monthly, but that's not all you get. So, um, which is another thing I really like. I mean, I love my lip products and I've really been wanting to build up my lip collection. And so, um, that's why I signed up for this. But it's also cool that, you know, periodically they give you something else fun to try as well. So, so far I'm really liking my subscription. This plumper is the only dud that I've got out of the last two months. Um, last month I did get a lip crayon um, that was broken when it arrived to me, but I just emailed customer service and said, you know, this particular product was broken. Um, I really love the color, so i just like to get a new one if possible if you still have them in stock. And... Um, and not even 24 hours later, I got a reply back saying, you know, so sorry about that. Um, we uh, have already sent a new one out to you. So, I mean, excellent customer service um, so far in my experience. I know it's only been two months now, <coughs> but I um, was really pleased that they got back to me so quickly and um, just like immediately sent out a new one and I got it within a few days. So that was really awesome. I will go ahead and leave a link below to Lip Monthly if you would like to subscribe. And um, I'll also leave all my social media links down below. And um, so I hope you guys will visit me there as well. Um, I hope you are having a magnificent summer. Do you have any exciting, awesome plans this summer? Because I don't. Um, so I have to live kind of vicariously through other people. So if you have any exciting, awesome plans this summer, tell me, tell me what you're up to. What's going on? Leave me a comment down below or give me a tweet or let me know on Facebook or, you know, wherever. One of them, their places is fine. And just let me know what's going on. Let me, um, you know, kind of just, you know, like I said, live vicariously through you wonderful subscribers. And if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that button down below. Not, not, not the thumbs up button. I mean, you could hit the thumbs up button too, but hit the subscribe button. Either one, both actually do help my channel quite a bit. So, um, go ahead and do that if you would like to, um, 
be a member of my lovely channel. And I will see you guys later.